Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Captain Toonhead Overview. You'll be a fool, I'm reading the whole title. <laughs> first things first, watch the trailer alone to even comprehend the overtopness of this. It's probably the best trailer that I've seen on Quest, honestly. It sells the game instantly, no matter the content. The developers are smart cookies, but let's just focus for a moment. So Captain Toonhead is a first person tower defense game, where you're saving the world building very unique structures and defend yourself from the punk army. This is so chaotic, but in a good way. You can't tell this game is not not representing a unique art style or even the assets, like everything that they present I've not seen so far. They claim you'll be able to move around the map, repairing and upgrade your towers, even take manual control of them and just be like a commander on the battlefield. I believe the only tower defense game I've tried was like a one time thing when we had go ports happening for quest 1. Tower defense can work in VR, it's just if you're not standing in one place doing the usual building then it's gonna be a good transformation of the genre. I feel like as long as the gameplay will not get tedious it's gonna be a very fun game to play. It it was delayed for a long time though. I feel like the first trailer of this game I saw almost one year ago so I wonder if it's not arriving too late to the store. We don't really have a lot of time left since the end of the year but we have such big releases coming out and still arriving in the next weeks it might just get devoured by the competition so we'll have to see it's definitely interesting and let's just see what's happening there. <laughs> This again. A few months ago, something interrupted a global address. Oh, finally, cartoons. Uh, okay. Private Salazar, there is an emergency in the lavatory. It's urgent. It's an emergency. Clean up in aisle four. That's what the cold burrito does to us, Private Toonhead. <laughs> Hop to it, cartoon boy. Call me Toonhead all you want, but without this is me, it's not very much explode. detailed. It's Quest 1 quality. I guess that's the reason it was being pushed because it was Whoa, not meant for the Quest 2. We ain't cold burritos. Good thing I made these turbo mjolnirs. It's way easier to just remove this mess altogether. What? Okay, now to pick up all the scraps. And now to install a pristine new stainless porcelain throne. Elliot Salazar to the rescue! These hammers are the best thing my genius mind ever invented. Brains over brawn every time. Quick! Lock two head in the toilet! Hey, what's going on? We're having a burrito. Warm! <laughs> Don't do it! The microwave is still broken! They did not just put a burrito into that microwave! When they said that we'll be able to move around, I did not expect like a teleporting spot. Oh my god, I told them a million times the microwave is broken and I can't fix it! I mean, I could fix it, but it's a union thing. Switching my energy field into a burrito containment shield. Sending full damage report to WTF headquarters now. This isn't going to go well. What have you done, Private? You are only halfway there and all our soldiers are dead! I can fix it, sir. You can count on me. Pardon me if I don't share your optimism, Private. Sir, I'm a janitor. I'm well aware, Private. And we're going to a trash planet, sir. I'm not following with you. Oh. Anyway, we don't have time or personnel for another attempt. Do your duty, Private. Private Salazar, you have been promoted to captain of this mission. This feels very wrong. I'm so confused what's going on. Okay, Captain Toonhead, let's try the training simulation again. No problem, Janine 5. Collect the scrap pile with your hammers. Now look at the back of your hand to see how many you've got. I have 50 scraps. That's not enough. Collect that other pile. Press and hold the button so your hammer travels further away. Good. Now install one of those crazy turrets you designed in the slot in front of you. Back 
called Toon Rats, Janine Five. Look at her go! Isn't she a work of art? If you say so. Now, teleport to your Toon Rat. Yeah, I don't get it that we have to teleport yeah! stuff. Like, why? Okay. Now, switch to your regulation Brent X Blaster and help your Toon Rat. Say hello to my little friends! What have you done to the blaster? I've given them a bit of panache and a dash of personality. Okay, you're the captain. Try to eliminate five targets. This is progress. You've never gotten this far before. Now, use your Eagle View rocket boots so you can see the other turret. Uh, I mean, Toon Rhett below. I see it now! Should I teleport to it? Please. Training finally complete. Hit the target in front of you to complete the simulation, Captain Toonhead. This Toonhead is a captain indeed. It's so weird, but I thought it's gonna be in a good way. <laughs> it seems you are now technically ready for deployment. Let's look at the map of landfill planet number E209. You need to destroy whatever weapons Voorhees is using. The Earth Radicator 1000? How do you know its name? Look out of the window, Janine. Whatever. <laughs> By the way, do you need to wear that TV on your head? God, let me be me, Janine. Do you know how you look? This is how you look. <laughs> this is what I have to look at. And that's a problem, how? Beat me down already! I'll take that garbage cannon apart! Not so fast, Elliot. The planet's readings suggest a multitude of mild energy sources. They seem too weak to power such a weapon, but strong enough to mess with my scanning software. Start with reconnaissance here, and see what we're dealing with first. Okay, Janine. So, this golden disc will teleport me there, right? Right. Just place your hammer on the deploy disc for a few seconds. Good luck, Captain Toonhead. Here we go! Oh, the smell is terrible. And everything is covered with trash. It's a landfill planet. Wait, I feel like I can't turn, but it's because there's no locomotion. So yeah, here, it's only a snap turn as an option. did you expect? Oh, that sucks. A cube with a body. Oh boy. Oh, what the? Aw, cubes that talk? What are you guys? We are Enter Cubes, and I'm your humble servant, Flynn. This is our home, and some punks are stealing our people. Help us, oh glorious angel. Sure, I can take you to my mission ship. You will be safe there. Janine, can you arrange the transport vessel? We don't have any... Oh, you mean your pizza rocket? If it can absurdly go around the ship to fake a delivery, I guess it can work for this too. Uploading the design to your hammers now. There it is! Let me start the launch sequence. Oh my god. While it charges, I will defend you, my new friends. What an A-letter day it is. I must tell others about your presence. Tell me, O oh Chosen One, what should we call you? You can call me Captain Toonhead. Well, thank you, Captain Toonhead. What a wonderful time to be alive. A cube with a body. Oh, boy. My sensors indicate there will be enemy forces coming from that gate at the end of the path. I hacked its system to keep it closed. They won't bother you. That won't do! Let them pass! I have to inspire these cubes! Captain, this is stupid. We must let Voorhees know we're a force to be reckoned with! This is an order, Janine Five! <sighs> Fine. I'll alter it to your liking. But install some defenses first. 
Okay. I guess I can install a tune rack. Good. When you are ready, hit the enemy gate and I will let it open. Break that gate! Don't let that W what do you mean? They opened it! Uh, well, defend the attack then! So we defend them with placing turrets. But like I really thought he's gonna just like you know move here. I do love the design though. This is unorthodox. I would have kept that gate locked. It's not that difficult. So it's not like attacking us. Helping, but I'm not doing like a ton of damage. We must be facing a cunning invader here. Prepare the lady. The what? while in combat. It looks like that T-Rex can withstand a lot of damage. I can see that! I'll give it all I got! Right. By the way, Janine, do you like dinos? What's your favorite? Micropatchy Cephalosaurus. Uh, what? I thought you'd say Triceratops. I'm not that basic, Captain. My fingers! <laughs> okay. That was not easy. Okay, well. Oh, oh, is it over? I did it? I did! Thank you for saving these inner cubes, Illuminous Toonhead. Can they get to safety now? And can we get the others? Don't worry, Flynn. We'll go to my ship and plan the next rescue mission from there. The pizza rocket is ready to launch. Jump in, Enter Cubes! Alright, we'll stop there, but as much as I like the concept and the overall aesthetic of it, because it is something fresh and there was a lot of work put into the design, the graphics are a little bit lacking. There is a lot of detail that you can just search for references and stuff, but I feel like this is the Quest 1 quality for sure. And my second biggest group is Locomotion, because I really wanted to move around and be in close combat with the enemies, but I'm just hopping around the turrets and being a sort of a mobile turret, I guess. I don't know, the design is cool, but the actual gameplay could be better for sure. Oh.